Yo, what is good people? I go by the name of Killer Beezy and yo, it feels so weird recording a video, man. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not even gonna lie. it feels so weird. But uh, as you guys can see, I've I've changed a little bit from the last time you lost saw me. Like I don't have the beard no more. I have to grow it again from scratch. I had some health health issues, I had an infection and whatnot, I had to fully take the beard off and uh take care of my skin and stuff and then obviously start growing it again from scratch, man. It's a slow progress, but gonna get to our, our being the black version of captain bay again man don't worry but anyway um so yes the um uh, the roadmaps have been released uh so you know as i stated in my original did i say in my last video or my end game video i can't even remember but um it was one of those videos and i stated that i was gonna kind of wait until they release all the information on the roadmap and then I was going to kind of come back and share my views, right? So let's get into the views. You and improve screens look like. Um, so this is what, like, you know, streaming or doing videos. What well, the streaming one will look slightly different above me, ever so slightly. But when I'm recording videos, this is what, this is what it will look like, man. So before we get into the discussion, if you guys are not following me on Twitch, make sure you go and follow me on Twitch. The uh, Twitch link is above me. And if you guys are not in the Discord, uh, the Discord link is in the description below. Make sure you join there, man. But anyway, so just to get into this. So my end game video, you know, I expressed how I felt about the game, why I felt like it was time for me to step away from the game. And um, also one of the key factors that I couldn't see uh, what Kabam could do to make me feel like oh, I want to jump back onto playing the game now it, it's not that I didn't I wasn't aware of what could be done to make me feel that way or players like myself that have a mutual feeling um, and make them feel that way it's that I didn't know if Kabam was willing to go to that extent and do that or not so um, after like I won't lie to you guys man after doing all the research and reading all the news and whatnot I, I, it, it was, as I've stated on like social media and Twitter and stuff, and even in my, some of my live streams on Twitch, a lot of the announcements are great for people that are already still enjoying the game. You know, players that haven't played the game as long as I have, I've been playing the game for over five years. So like, you know, for people that aren't necessarily bored of the game or tired or feel like it's repetitive or whatnot, you know, for those players, it's amazing. Cause imagine you playing a game that you like, and then you just hear more and more and more like positive things being added to it. Like obviously you're gonna, it's gonna make you even more over the moon, you know? So, um, but, but for a player from my perspective, I it, it was a lot of the new stuff was great, but it didn't tackle the real issue that I had with the game. And again, I'm speaking for myself as an individual. Um, you know, I don't speak for the majority of players, uh, nor do I speak for a certain percentage of players. I can only give you guys my opinion, you know? So, uh, you know, from my perspective, what, one of my biggest issues, as if you guys have been watching the channel, you'll notice already, uh, but, for, but for those of you who haven't been, um, you know, one of my biggest issues was the fact that I, I, I would love to play this game at a point where like, I had the freedom to log in whenever I wanted to. You know, I, I, I don't want that kind of lock in of feeling like, oh shoot, I, like my, my present is needed at this time because um, that's when someone is going to be waiting for me to clear them in AQ and then like and then it's like okay well I get up in the morning and I do that and then like at another point during the day it's like oh, oh uh, your presence is needed again here because you know uh, you're going to need to do this uh, it, it's heavily part of the reason why I don't play anything higher than map 5 it's a, it's a massive reason as to why I've stepped down uh, you know a lot of people over the years have kind of said oh how come you only run this map or how come you only run that map and you know a, a lot of it a lot of it also was to do with like donations and stuff but you know a massive part of it was having that freedom you know and, and although i still didn't necessarily have freedom when it comes to map five um you know I, I was i was slacking and a big shout out to my my last alliance because uh, you know i would kind of move before i go to bed I'd wake up in the moon and morning and move again and then there would be times where like in the first section i would just be missing because i'd be so like busy with the kids or my family throughout the day um that by the time i remember to even think oh yeah shoot let me jump back on my, my pad to like uh log in and like you know move an aq luckily like my battle group had already finished it by then 
Uh, but you know, had I have not been in an organized battle group, you know, I would have heavily been letting my team down. And uh, you know, it, it was it, it, it just made me realize look like this kind of commitment um, to like playing this part of the game, like it's not for me, it doesn't work well around my lifestyle. Um, so it, it would have been really nice if you know we we would have got at, at, mo at, at a minimum 30 minute timers um, or just energy removed completely or, or link nodes removed completely um, however in saying that like the change that we did get and the update that we did get not only to AQ and Alliance War but to, to all um, aspects of the game are better than no change you know that's the kind of attitude i'm trying to have with it i'm like you know what alliance quest was a bit ish and like you know they haven't they haven't adjusted it to suit a lot of what people would like but they've made some form of adjustment you know i don't know how that is going to be for for players like or how much of a difference it will make starting with like one extra energy um you know obviously the energy timer being slightly in slightly decreased per hour um but also obviously over the period of the time where you would generate like six energies now instead of five obviously those like those 15 minute that those timers that are cut short by 15 minutes per hour obviously add up do you know what i mean so um i don't know how it would be or how it would feel um to from, from a quality of life perspective um when running aq after sort of the updates are put in place but you know obviously only time will tell so one of the big things that is making me look at mcoc again and making me feel like okay like, I, 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 i'm gonna start playing this game again um so one of the major things for me is i've always felt like when you play this game solo without being in an without being in an alliance right um the resources that you get from alliance-based activities like alliance war and alliance quest um like you you can't get those resources from anywhere else in the game at the level that you get them from the alliance-based events so i've always felt like if i went solo and didn't um didn't play with an alliance for too long i would then start to fall behind you know and like although they haven't necessarily made the changes that i would have liked or to make life slightly a, a lot more easier in alliance-based activities they have brought in other aspects of the game that are going to be more rewarding and one of the, the the reasons why i feel a lot more comfortable playing the game and not feeling like i have to be in an alliance is because with the new cavalier difficulty coming out and you know other aspects of the game coming out um and, and new things being added to the game i feel like there's going to be a lot of like single player content on a monthly basis that are going to give you like rank up resources a lot of shards um which are like a lot of heavily why you would dive into aq um and aw um and i feel like with the improvement yeah obviously you know if you're someone that's not playing in an, in an alliance um versus someone that is playing in an alliance obviously they're still going to have the edge because they're still going to get their extra rewards from alliance quest and alliance war but at least you're still heavily getting a nice chunk of them now or you will be getting a nice chunk of those extra shards and those extra um, rank up resources from single player modes in the game whether it be new monthly events difficulties or whether it be like um like you know special uh, special events uh, like uh, bo boss uh, boss rush challenges or whatnot or variants or whatnot you know that those events seem like that there's going to be a bit more of them uh, which means that those things are going to be a lot more frequent you know and you're going to get your rank up resources and your shards a lot a lot faster um, and that's kind of in my opinion closing the gap a lot more than than what it was before between a person that plays this game solo and a person that plays this game in an alliance and um so 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 it's kind of it made me feel like you know what i can come i, I can come back and play this game because i'm not gonna lie I've, I've missed playing mcoc and i've logged in and i've done a couple fights here and there um just to kind of see whether 
I just had the urge to do one or two fights and I was like, nah. Or whether I was actually like, no, man, I, I want to play this game. And uh, as you, obviously, I wouldn't be doing this video if it was, oh yeah, I really want to play this game again. So, um, so what my plan is, is to play the game and, and not feel the need to have to play it being a part of Alliance. Um, if I do go to an Alliance, it will be it will be me being a part of an alliance where um, they don't heavily rely on needing me uh, for, for AQ. Uh, AW is a bit different. I don't mind committing to AW because, um, you know, whatever alliance I go to, I, I, I'll make sure that it's at a level that I can manage. And um, I don't mind committing to that because, you know, Alliance War is like every other day. Uh, so you, you do attack three days out of the week. I'm cool with that. It's not like a light quest where it's like every day for five days. It's not the same. So if I was to get to a point where I ended up being in an, in an alliance, it's going to be in an alliance that can probably like either run a low level AQ map that can that can be completed without without needing all uh, ten members to to jump in. Like say for instance, if we was running map. Uh, map 3 or they had a very active group that ran map 5 um, and was cool with me just logging in as and when I, I could because obviously I'm still going to be playing the game it's just that you know there are going to be the odd times it's not going to be all the time but there are going to be the odd times where um, I'm busy and obviously don't get to kind of log in so you know if I, can, if I can find a place like that then cool um, you know I don't expect to, uh, to be carried by any kind of alliance in particular which is why I'm not actively looking for an alliance i'm just going to play the game if, if while playing the game and doing the things that i need to do in the game i stumble across an alliance that's pretty chilled um and you know the, the, i don't really care about the ranking for aq but you know if you all kind of got half a decent effort in war um then I, I don't really mind that you know so an alliance that is i wouldn't mind kind of like going semi-hard in war <laughs> wars i just um but then like pretty chilled with aq like that that will kind of be the perfect fit for me um but but yeah man so uh, we got a lot of fun things to look forward to um as you can see I, i've done a little bit of of the uh, northern expeditions uh, i haven't done any high level stuff because i want to do that all on stream so uh, i've left that obviously we've got um act 6.4 to do uh, and then we've got the completion to do i ain't gonna touch this um until I ain't gonna touch Act Six until um, they come through and and do the little nurse that they need to do or not, because it makes sense. You know, I'm not obviously buying units or anything like that. Um, you know, if content is gonna be easier to do, it makes sense to wait until the content is easier to do, because then that way uh, we can, you know, make the, the best use out of our units. You know, like there's no point in me like using all the units that I've got now just to bloody clear the Grandmaster, when in fact like after they nerf sort of uh, act six i could maybe clear it in 500 units if that makes sense because then we've got more units to uh spread across and do more content so um so i'm gonna wait until i, I touch act six um you know obviously I, I'm, I'm up to date with all the variants um i need to do uncollected um you know little things like incursions i want to start doing on, on live stream you know there's a there's a lot to do uh there's a lot to do on live streams whereas like uh before I kind of felt like it was at a point where I wasn't really enjoying the game. So once we kind of done the uncollected quest, it was kind of like, oh, I don't really do anything. But now, like, listen, I, I, I've been missing the game so much. Yeah, I even contemplated doing a, an arena stream this week, you know. <laughs> and you lot know me. Like, I don't play arena. So for me to think, yeah, boom, like, I'm going to stream this on this day. Then I'm going to stream this. Then, uh, boy, I might even do arena. Yo. Your boy's out. Your boy's lost his marbles. I've been watching I lack skills this stream for too <laughs> for too long. But uh, but yeah, man. So we got some we got some good stuff to do, man. Uh, which I'm which I'm kind of uh, I'm excited about again. Um, you know, I'm excited to actually pick up the game. It's like a, I've had a nice refresher. I haven't had no one pestering me, telling me to move or telling me I have to log in or telling me I've only got 30 minutes. Uh, I haven't had that, and it's just been so refreshing. So uh, I, I'm I'm not looking to go back to that for now, anyway. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, man. Um, so yeah, th this is basically me saying, um, hope you're not tuning into the live stream tomorrow because we're gonna be going live. I'm not titling tomorrow's stream over Monday, though. I'm not gonna do that no more um, because, as you guys know, I also stream on Twitch. 
and um, I, I love kind of waking up and thinking, hmm, what am I going to do today? A video on MCOC? Or are we doing a stream today on MCOC? Or are we doing a stream over on Twitch? We're going to stream some Call of Duty. We're going to stream some FIFA. We're going to stream some Seven Deadly Sins. We're going to stream some horror games. Like, I love having that, like, versatility of, like, um, like you know, streaming whatever I'm in the mood to play. Um, ultimately, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be implementing a certain structure so that mcoc streams are a certain um number of times per week um so that regardless of what other games i'm streaming they, they, you're guaranteed to get this amount of streams from me for mcoc but i i haven't decided on what days i want them to be yet or, or how i have a rough idea of how much i want them to be but i don't want to set myself up to fail so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna give out that information yet um we'll just kind of go with the flow and see how it works um because obviously i want to be able to like kind of tackle content as it comes out or whatnot and i won't be able to do that if i allocate certain set days um and then a, a day that i'm not meant to be streaming this is like oh shoot i've got to stream this day because this comes up but then people aren't expecting it because i've already told them actually these are the days that i stream so we'll kind of see how that goes we'll play around with that um in the future but um yeah we've got quite a few things to do i've got quite a few i haven't opened any of my crystals either so i've got quite a few crystals to open uh, as you can see we've got 70k uh five star shards um, we got nearly 15k uh, six star shards uh, we got some grandmaster crystals to open we've got a few premium hero crystal shards we've got a few four star hero and three star hero so uh, we've got we got a few crystals to open I, I, i'm not sure whether i want to open my five star crystals yet um i am really really down for five star scarlet, scarlet witch and i kind of don't really know whether I should just save my shards until she comes out or whether I should kind of just go with it and just open them now um, and then like just save again she comes out I don't really know how to I don't really know how to um I don't really know how to deal with that just yet you know so we're kind of we're kind of gonna see how that goes but uh, I'll just show you my stash um, that you guys can kind of see my rank up resources and stuff as you can see i've got four tier five basics um so we can either take um there's a there's a few rank ups that we can do um and i don't necessarily know what i'm gonna need just yet so um you know one of the rank ups that i is a long time coming is this ghost this ghost needs to go to rank two uh, i might even do that um and oh i completely come out the champion screen uh, there's a few five stars that i want to take up uh, but I, I think I feel like the problem with having shards is that when you look at rank ups, you kind of think, okay, who can I rank up now? And it doesn't take into consideration who you could possibly get. Uh, like for instance, I would love to have a warlock. Uh, if I had a warlock, I'd rank him up instantly. If I had a Nick Fury, I'd rank him up instantly. And uh, the the, the, the kind of downside of of being in the position that I'm in now is if you use your rank up materials before you open your crystals um you're then gonna get to a point i'm more than likely to get something really good if i do it that way uh because then i'll end up pulling the champion that i really wanted and not having the resources to rank him up so um so yeah man we, we've got a lot to to do we've got a lot to be excited about um spider-man uh still spider is another one that i want to rank up as well domino is the one i want to rank up as well but there's a lot there's there's a few there's a good few rank ups that i want to that i want to do uh sunspot as well uh, who was one of the recent pulls uh, i think i got thing as well i think thing is here somewhere i got him recently too um yeah so thing is here as well as you can see i haven't i haven't even leveled him up so um yeah man we've we got a good few we got a good we got a good few champions that we want to level up and uh play around with um but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know give you guys an update and um i hope you guys are all blessed i hope you're looking after yourselves i hope you're looking after your loved ones i hope you're staying safe and um i can't wait to see you guys back in the live stream tomorrow man but for now guys take care let me know how you guys are feeling let me know what your thoughts are um regarding like all the um roadmap news uh, that you've read let me know if you're happy with it let me know if there's some improvements that you feel like um, could have made and um yeah man um let me know your thoughts but anyway man it's been your boy killer bz i hope you guys are, are cool man make sure you stay safe uh thank you guys for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one man peace